Morning guys, I am up and running late and honestly not in the mood to work out, but I'm gonna do it anyways because discipline, you know, like I, I just have to. Today is upper body and I know it's important and I know that it'll get my body looking the way that I want it to, so I just, I've just got to do it. And I know once I turn on the music, I'll probably feel better, like music moves me, but right now I'm not feeling it, but I am plowing through, okay? I am faking it until I make it, okay? You don't always have to want to do it, you just gotta do it anyway. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. But you know, the good thing to come out of all of this is that means I gotta do a zip fish shake. So today we are having, bam! I knew it was great, I knew it was great. <laughs> On the day of all days when I really need the zip fizz to lift me up, it's gonna be great, so. All right guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to discipline, consistency, and success. you got for me this morning I accept it okay thank you not bad my girl how's my brown girl look at you you just blend right in with the sheets matey mm, she's a good girl maddie paul good girl good girl hi diddy how's my diddy boy are you in your bed too everybody's in bed today look at you diddy dj dj DJ, where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? I don't know, Bubby. I don't know. Hi, Milton. Hi, Mel. Oh, oh, whoa. Back it up. Back it Oh, it's my tooties. Oh, okay. All right. Good boy, toot toots. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so speaking of favorite foods, I want to know, comment here and comment down below deserted island like oh my gosh you can only eat one meal every day for the rest of your life so i can tell you for me my because oh I, I, I for for some reason i think about this a lot like okay well if i could eat if i only had to eat the same thing over oh and over again what would it, it would be pizza i would eat pizza Very every nice day stuff. and it could be the same pizza it, it you know like not even pizza with different toppings i'm talking about the same pepperoni bacon jalapeno pizza every single day for the rest of my life and then my dessert would just be ice cream my favorite keto meal okay taco tray i could eat taco tray every single day for okay. the rest of my life pork rinds and quest chips included mm. i'm on a deserted island after all ergo i deserve my chips and guacamole you okay. know and then my favorite keto dessert like if i could only have one sweet treat for the rest of my life now that's a tough one that's a tough one. Yes. My husband thinks I'm a weirdo. No. Yeah. Mine's no, is more simple space. than that. Exactly. Steak and seafood. Ugh. Oh, you're not supposed to answer my <laughs> The desserts would be non keto, would be gummy, anything oh, wow. sour or original. Just, just wow. an island full of gummies, sour and original. Wow. And I could just throw them in my mouth. A variety of fruits. The yes. keto dessert yeah. would be an island of keto crisp. Oh, those are so good! An entire the island. almond butter oh, chocolate no, chip. No, oh, those no, are so no, good! No. I forgot all about <laughs> those. Ah, yeah, I'll those take it. are stupid, <laughs> man. That is crazy. But those things are so good. Oh my gosh, you are so, way to go! Mm, oh, I don't, mm. I don't, I don't trained him right. Oh my god, keto crisp. Uh, you right, you right. Oh my god. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here at my computer waiting on some stuff to print because I got lots of t-shirts to make today. Uh, if you don't know, there's a huge sale going on on my website. I call it the grab bag. So this is just 
basically a bunch of overstock that I have that I'm selling at a deep discount. If you just want a regular crew neck t-shirt with one of the standard sayings on my shirts, you definitely go to www.watchautumnketo.com. This would be a great time to pick some up. Got a lot of shirts to make and while I have downtime, I've really been working on, in my little notebook, look, it has cacti on the front and it says you look sharp today, like you're looking sharp today. I love that. I've been working this week on future self journaling so this is yet another part of like the manifestation law of attraction principles where what you do is actually write journal entries as your future self experiencing the things that you want to attract into your life that you want to manifest so for instance this one here is about the dream vacation to New York City that I want to go on. If you guys don't know, I love New York City and I've been there multiple times, but I've never been there with Richard before. And this journal entry is all about the vacation that I'm going to take with Richard, all the things that we're going to see and how much fun we're having. Like I've written it as if it already happened. So today we went to my favorite restaurant in New York City and then tomorrow we're going to do this. And I'm so glad that we're here together. Like, don't write like, I can't wait till I can go. This will be so good in the future. Write it as if you're that person who's already achieved whatever you're looking to set out. And it's just one more tool to help ingrain it in your mind and to help the universe know that you're serious about wanting it in your life. Uh, this one right here is for when I get 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Like, I'm writing down my goals. Look, it says, holy flip, today I received my 100,000 subscriber button from YouTube. Like imagine when that happens like i'll have made it possible with this journal entry like i'm so excited like so every day i am charging myself to write a future self journal entry about something that i really want to manifest into my life and i am just excited it, it, it makes you excited to feel the feelings of having the things that you dreamed about and that's what the universe responds to your excitement your positive feelings so the more that you can do that and this is just a tool the more that you can do that the closer you are to achieving your goal so i am multitasking i'm printing some stuff and i'm writing some stuff and i'm gonna be making some stuff pretty soon i'm gonna be eating some stuff that's really what i'm looking forward to it is almost taco tray time and i am excited about that but in the meantime i'm being super productive today so i'm gonna get back to my work and then it is almost time to eat okay guys back like it never left the one the only taco tray oh i am so excited i haven't had this in so long and I didn't really feel like thinking up anything in particular for meal prep. So I was like, you know what my favorite default is? Taco tray. You guys, this is just a bed of lettuce, some jalapeno, some ground beef, some sour cream, cheese, all sorts of sauces. We have some pork rinds right here and we have some Quest tortilla chips right here. I got my guacamole. Like it's literally the exact same as before and that makes me love it oh actually something i did a little different with the ground beef this week i don't know why i was feeling kind of crazy so i actually got some chipotles and adobo and i mixed that in with the ground beef like chipotles and adobo is basically just smoked jalapenos in like a tangy sauce and the flavor of it is just plain delicious like it really does add like not only a level of spice, which you know I like, but like a delicious flavor. So I'm gonna sit down. I've been working hard today and I'm proud of myself. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy lunch and then get back to it. But like, you can never have a bad day when you got taco tray bars. Okay guys, taco tray was just everything I imagined and more like, gosh, that is just a delicious meal. I love it. It is my number one favorite. I could eat that every single day for the rest of my life and be satisfied. Boy, that was delicious. Now it's about the time where I would have two cheese sticks and some fat bombs, but I got some moon cheese left over from Father's Day. So Father's Day was this past weekend and I am so proud of myself. I stayed completely keto. There was a grill out, so there was already meats there, but like we brought our own sides. We brought coleslaw and cream spinach and I made some high key blondies and there was moon cheese and so we had some leftover moon cheese and I was like, you know what? Instead of having some cheese sticks, I'm gonna make my way through this moon cheese. So what I have done is something that I normally never do with moon cheese and that is portion it out. <laughs> I have portioned out three servings of moon cheese, which is 
almost close to how much uh, two cheese sticks would be. It's a little bit more to be honest, but I just knew two servings wasn't going to do it. So I had to go with a third one. So I am going to prove that I have self-control and I'm only going to eat this much moon cheese for today. Like y'all pray for me, man. Like I, I normally, this whole bag is like for a sitting, you know, this is the same as like a bag of popcorn at the movies. Yes. I recognize this is the bulk bag from Costco, but this is what I sit down with and I'll just eat the whole thing. So I am proud of myself for portioning this much out. Also this week, I am back to my regular fat bombs. Now these are normally the chocolate coconut butter fat bombs that I make, but I didn't really have the macros for the nut butter this week because of like all of the stuff I put on my taco tray. So this is just chocolate coconut fat bombs. Okay, let me give it a try. Mm. Oh, oh, it's like a mounds, what? Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Okay, I'm gonna have my moon cheese and two of these and then I will be done for the day. Also, water, water, always water. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> okay guys, I am done, 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 done for the day. Like, I have been working nonstop ever since lunch was over first of all did i tell you that we were watching jack ryan so we've moved on from the mandalorian honestly as predictable as i thought it was gonna be like not bad not great i'm not a star wars person but we moved on what is great however is jack ryan i mean it is also your run-of-the-mill typical <laughs> espionage say, show uh, like I it's mean, nothing groundbreaking yeah exactly <sighs> okay so but ever since then I have been working on shirts, shirt, 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 oh shirt, yes. shirt, 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 oh shirt, yes. shirt. So many shirts, so many orders going out on Wednesday today. So we have you just got so much going. We on. have Rashana, Latanya, Tanya, Lori, oh, hey, roll call. exactly, oh, Melanie, Sandy, exactly. Raise your hand in the comments if this yes. is you, Patricia. Whitney, oh Jessica, my gosh, Virginia, <laughs> stop saying names, Sally, I don't know what you're saying, but name. everybody yes. has packages coming, you should get them this week, mm -hmm. I'm so excited, thank you mm -hmm. so much for purchasing all of your grab bag items, oh Leah too, Leah yes. you're in Canada, yes. yours is coming yes. as well, oh, oh my goodness, but I am yeah, pooped, right. you know what, I forgot to mention, this morning, I started the day off with my almonds and cheese. I didn't even film that because I'm like, I eat the same thing mm -hmm. all the time. And I forgot to drink my coffee. Like, oh, yeah. I forgot to make and consume oh, my bulk of coffee. So, well, no wonder you were all that is, out and of maybe I'll, yeah, maybe that's why I was tired. But, mm -hmm. like, right now, I'm just sitting down with my Sprite Zero and we are just gonna watch some Jack Ryan. And, like, I am turning the brain off. Pew! Oh, yes. You know, like. You guys, Taco Tray was amazing. It was definitely just, I guess, the favorite meal that I've had over the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. Even though I've had some really delicious stuff, well, you know that's your I had Taco apple. Tray and I was like, oh my God, yeah, this is fallback. so good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so oh, I am excited to have that this week. I am excited to sit down and have my Sprite right now. I'm excited to sit down in I was general. Just gonna say, I think the sit down is the biggest part of the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. Way. Uh, everyone, have a good night, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. I didn't say. Okay. <laughs>